Hey guys, this is going to be a mod review of the uh, Tonkin Replicas Caterpillar 966K in uh, 1 to 50 scale. Uh, this wheel loader model is uh, really nice. Uh, it's got great functionality and nice detail for a decent price. Uh, the Tonkin, they're handing out, well, Diecast Masters is taking over the Caterpillar license. So these are no longer made by Tonkin, and next year they will re be released as the M series loaders. And apparently they're this is going to be now. This is don't quote me on this, but I've heard that they're going to be the same model just with the new decaling and such. But again, don't uh, that's not 100% confirmed. I don't think anyway. So, anyways, carrying on. Uh, I'll start with the functionality. And uh, then I'll get to the detail as always. So the bucket curl, it curls in there. And it's really nice that it can stay curled like that. And it'll, cur it'll stay curled all the way up. Again, now the one problem I find with this model is the uh, it'll raise to there. But it falls every time. So that's a slight downfall. And I'll show it loading the trusty sword Peterbilt dump truck that will fit under there it's just uh, again the the dump height but yeah so it, it can load the sword east dump tra east dump body the genesis but uh, it likes to fall and you know it'll go down to there <clears throat> So, and, and the cylinders will hold most poses though, which is good. And the curl again is excellent. And the, uh, the dump, the, the dumping varies. Uh, turning is excellent. The model will turn excellently. And the other way is the same. Really nice turning on the model, steering. Um, stiff as well. So that's about it for the functionality, besides for the fact the bucket can come off, but I will get into that later. Um, so to get into some detail, um, as you can see there's a nice plastic aerial on the roof, which is excellent to have there. Um, that always looks nice when there's an antenna. Um, <clears throat> these uh, the lights here are plastic with uh, painted lenses. Lights are plastic with painted lenses. There's hydraulic lines going to the bucket cylinder and uh, that's really nice. Uh, these pins here could have been covered up a little bit better but that's not that big of a deal. Uh, the tires are um, really nice. They got good tread detail and the wheels have bolt detail inside <clears throat> and the color match is good. Um, the bucket is a good cast. Um, don't mind that noise. Um, but yeah, the bucket cast is good. It's got the would have the cat sign right there. And uh, it's, it has no teeth, it's a straight edge bucket, but that's no big deal. Um, it looks good. Um, moving on to around the cab area. <clears throat> so you can see there's warning decals down in near the articulation point at the top of the stairs. Um, the handrails are metal and the mirrors are metal as well. And the grab rail on the top of the cab is plastic. <clears throat> Decaling is excellent on the model as well. Uh, I really like the, the K-series loaders. They look really good. Um, so on the back here, the venting is textured. Um, you know, the, uh, the counterweight... Oops. The counterweight is uh, a nice piece and the rear, the rear radiator. Uh, the lights are painted. It's got the cat decal there. Some painted lights and the uh, hitch is modeled. Uh, the stack on top and the uh, the exhaust stack and the air cleaner are modeled but they have uh, 
it's not drilled out or anything, but it's, it's no big deal. <clears throat> Moving on to this side. Uh, same thing, basically, besides for, uh, I did, I did forget to mention that the, uh, the, the texture on the walkway on the, uh, cab is really nice. On the, I mean, up on the machine is really nice. The anti-slip texture is modeled very well. Um, I'm a huge fan of that. And there is also a little bit of a, there, up on top of the, right there. Little platform right there is modeled as well. Which is good. So anyways, I will try to get inside of the cab. That should work fairly well. Maybe. So the seat is there. Um, yeah, the seat. Joysticks on the other side. And the... Uh, be hard to get that. The glass is kind of fogged on mine, or it's not fogged, it's smudged. Uh, the K-Series reloaders only have joysticks in them anyway, there's no steering wheel, so that's uh, <clears throat> that's that. And again, like I said, on the cab, there's uh, some lights there. And on the other side of the model, which I don't usually show, um, it just says Tonkin replicas in the model number. And that's basically it. Some wear plates on the bottom of the bucket is nice. And uh, the cylinders going into the articulation point. And oh, I forgot to mention uh, one other thing that they modeled, which is really nice. Give you guys a look. Is the uh, filler cap right here. Which is not your fuel cap. The fuel cap is inside the. Uh, fuel cap is in the engine compartment. But the, but it's really nice that they modeled that. It looks really good that it's there. And it's a nice little thing to add. And uh, I must say it adds you know, a little bit more realism to the model. Um, so yeah guys, that's basically the overview of the Tonkin Replicas Caterpillar 966K wheel loader in 1 to 50th scale. Uh, there's good functionality on the model, nice detail for the price, these go around $80, um, give or take. And, uh, the cylinders are good, for the most part. Decaling's excellent, and it's just an overall really nice looking piece, and the 950 and the 972 are also nice wheel loaders as well. So, if you guys, uh, would, could pick one up, I definitely would, and, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for this review, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for some more upcoming reviews and unboxings and uh, who knows what else. So anyways guys, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, have a good one. Take care.